Subscribe to the channel, comment, and stay on top of all Knicks news. Pass or pursue on proposed Knicks Bulls Zach Levine trade. In our newest edition of Pass or Pursue, we have a trade suggestion from Josh Cornelison of Pippen Ain't Easy that would send Zach Levine to the Knicks for a multitude of assets. Levine has been one of the biggest names in trade rumors this season, so it's very fitting that he would be suggested to go to the Knicks. It seems as if no matter what player is involved in trade talks, they will eventually be rumored to go to New York. This trade in itself is a little crazy. As good of a player as Levine is, he has a price tag and this trade definitely exceeds what his price would likely be. Before I get too far ahead of myself though, let's take a look at the trade and discuss whether or not the Knicks should accept it. Pass or pursue with the newest Zach Levine Knicks Bulls trade as I said before, this trade is a little crazy. Zach Levine wouldn't be the worst player to add to this roster, but the assets the Knicks would give up are simply way too much. I don't understand why the Knicks would ever even consider this for a multitude of reasons. For starters, Levine is set to make $40 plus million a year after this season until 2026. While the ever so expanding cap space in the NBA will make this contract not nearly as bad as it currently is, it is still a lot of money for the caliber of player that Levine is. Levine is a great player, don't get me wrong but at the end of the day he is an all-star caliber scorer, and that is it. He's not the best playmaker and struggles defensively. Levine just simply wouldn't fit well on this team. The Knicks already have three ball-dominant players in RJ Barrett, Jalen Brunson, and Julius Randle, so adding a fourth to the mix might make things worse. As I've said before, the Knicks should look for more off-ball-oriented, three-hand, D players as opposed to another ball-dominant scorer. The biggest problem with this trade though is the price. Yes, Evan Fournier and Derek Rose are not in the rotation, but to give up Emmanuel quickly, Obi Toppin and Quinton Grimes? I don't think so. Both Grimes and Quickly are two of the Knicks' better defensive players, so to get rid of them for Levine, who struggles on that side of the ball, would be a disaster. Toppin is also a very solid player even though he is utilized incorrectly by Thibodeau. For this price, there is not a single reason for the Knicks to consider this trade, let alone accept it. The price, fit, and money Levine is owed makes for a nasty combination that New York should avoid at all costs. Subscribe to the channel, comment, and stay on top of all Knicks news.